question. Um, this is a public disclosure for those who may. Uh, I, I met you first when you were at Harvard. Um, I don't remember the whole <laughs> environment or the situation, but you you went back with uh, NWC Obiara. And I was very happy that people like you who went to um, great schools uh, with great ideas uh, are willing to go back to Nigeria. I wasn't willing to go back at that point. And uh, then I heard one day that you were named the chairman of the um, NERC. And I was very excited, finally, that someone with great knowledge, great education, we deal with this energy problem in Nigeria. What happened? Good question. And people ask all the time. What happened is that we recorded success, but what it is they teach you in policy school is that you need the macroeconomy for power to work. And by the way, when I was appointed, Jonathan said that he appointed me. Nobody took my CV to him. He said, because he sees this guy, He's honest, he's intelligent, he's courageous. So I got to work. Now, I challenged government policy on privatization. At a point, they said they should remove me. I remember very well when my partner called everybody. Uh, the directors and said Sam must be removed. Sam is against me. But look, I had in credit school, I had done some work on privatization on, on, on regulation. And I said, you don't if you privatize in this way, you will fail. I was a regulator. I did not. I wasn't a producer, but as a regulator, I can proudly say three things. One, when I came, I said three agenda for ourselves. First, before me, there was commissioners who were appointed. Actually, the chairman also came from U US then. The chairman came from US and they were all arrested and jailed and tried for corruption. So my first agenda was to reset NEC to be the most transparent, honest public institution. The second agenda I said for myself is that we're gonna be effective in providing regulations, standard regulations. And the third was to build the capacity of this institution in terms of knowledge. So first, I can happily report that when I was in NEC, we were judged by the public-private development corporation as the most transparent, who came number one in public procurement in Nigeria. And since I've left, since I've left, you can Google, nobody has mentioned NEC in respect of any employment racketing, any corruption, no query, nobody has called me, no police. As I'm sitting, even neck, they have not called me to ask for one file. Eight or more years of active fight against government, speaking up against the government, nobody has called me. So I succeeded. And just last year, NEC won again the most transparent in public procurement. So in spite of the Buhari's reckless years, they couldn't destroy what we set up. The second thing is that up to today, even the World Bank said so, that we have one of the best in class regulations. The problem with the sector is not regulation. The problem with the sector is something else. It is leadership coordination, it is wrong modeling and ineffective project management at the level of the ministry and operator. So nobody has reversed any of the rules we've made. Nobody has said they are substandard. And the third thing, in terms of NEC, the institution has remained strong I, two years after I got in, I, I moved the neck from public public budget uh, because I didn't want anybody to come and ask me for a bribe or harassment. I, they were shocked. And I was able to build a nine story corporate quarter without debt. We are even embed is using now. It's, it's the only legacy. We didn't have a, a headquarter building. We didn't have any building. We were all rented. I, in late five years, we got it. They moved, we moved in. We had zonal offices built. So I, I think we succeeded. But why is power sector not working? Three things, and I've said it everywhere. First, I, it flows from Nigeria development failures. If you look at China, if you look at uh, Asia, you have to have a developmental state, a state that inserts itself and drives development. So one of the errors they made was that once they say privatize, are you privatizing an industry with less than 2,000 megawatts daily supply? Before I came to NEC, there was no public account of NEPA. I did the first, I did the first public account of all NEPA, then NEPA PSN institutions in 2013. I did the first metering review. You had 45% of your meter of your customers not metered. 
So the deficit gap was too high. You need to nurture, look at India, uh, Egypt. Egypt has done that very well. Egypt was the only people, Egypt used white well in public, uh, public, uh, public ownership. Egypt was able in five years to have 20,000 megawatts of new power with CMS, better project management. So the first thing is modeling. We went too far with market fundamentalism instead of reforming governance. And reforming, I remember once that a minister brought five billion to Mr. President to approve, to go and uh, revive uh, one half and power plant. I told Mr. President, how can you put money in five billion in a sector where there's a regulator and there's no due process, no relevance check? The president says, we can't do it. When I left, they, they did it. So when you run a sector with corruption, without central coordination, macro in clarity, and you know, streamlined execution, then in spite of what one smart regulator is doing, he can't get. So I, I regret that we did not give Nigeria's power as we wanted or as we claimed. But I have little satisfaction that the little place had the capacity to change and succeeded largely. If again, and this is very important for me, if I if I had a private, if I was a, a chief executive, I was a board, so oftentimes some of the interventions needed board approval, probably would have done more. And from hindsight, I would have taken more risk with upsetting the system. I did a lot. I fought all the ministers who were there, really fight. But the good thing was that Jonathan believed in me. I wouldn't have stayed one day. Jonathan, they said Sam is not the right kind of person. Sam is a Marxist. Sam is an activist. Sam is not interested in corruption. But Jonathan said, let's have one person, his exact word, who is sane enough among us. And that's why I said, everything I did as nature man, I take ownership, not Jonathan. Jonathan was a perfect boss. When I tell him, sir, this is illegal, he will he say, Sam has said, he won't cause me. So when they said this, this government was full of corruption, maybe those who are corrupt induced him. But he gave me all the cover not to be a corrupt public official. And I'm happy that nobody has, I've given a public challenge to anybody to point out one bribery, contract true proxy in the last five, the five years I was there. And today, nobody, no call, no DSS, no police. So I'm really proud, but I regret 